Hey everybody, Teldo here, and in this series I'm going to be covering every single hero for Gigantic, and we're starting off with Gnosis, a very offensive tank. There are two tanks in the game, and Gnosis is one of them, the more offensive one. He's like right in your face, he's gonna deal lots of damage with his left click, and right in the start we're going for one of the summons here, so we get level 3 right away, and you can see there are those little yellow ores that you can pick up. Uh, that's a new addition with the newest patch that came out last weekend. Um, or this weekend rather, and they give you power for your guardian and they also give you a little bit of focus. You can see the enemy team got a few more so they have a little bit more power but that's okay. Um, as for upgrades I'm gonna post the link to my build in the description. And Gnosis, as I said, will deal lots of damage. He has a good amount of CC but only a, a little bit, not comparable to something like Margrave. But he's just gonna deal lots of damage so what I go for first is um, the 200, 400 health when he uses his E ability, the the one that gives you gives movement speed to him, and um, extra damage on his left click. Plus on level three, the passive I also go for extra damage there and longer combos. So right on the start here, it's a very passive game. I'm just hitting those <laughs> little granny hands to build up a little bit of focus. Um, but I'm just waiting for the right opportunity. We can see that Sven just jumped on there and Strep is going in as well and getting knocked away. Used my E so I'm gonna have a little bit of extra health. It doesn't actually show that you're healing but you just basically have a shield. You're not gonna take damage for a while. So I just went in there, dealt a little bit of damage. Don't want to overextend quite yet though because it's just a little too much early on um, because there are five people in there and they have heals but now since my cooldown's back up I'm just trying to go in and get that kill on Gnosis. My Taito helps me we get the first blood and now I take the opportunity to go back out of the fight again, use the cacti to hide, try to hit Sven with my Q. Unfortunately I miss that but that's okay. So um, a pretty low HP so is my team so it's pretty smart to just fall back here. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the strength of Nos, and that's w how you want to play him. You um, get the E with the 400 shield early on, and then you just go for your left click as much as possible. I went for another upgrade, so my left click is just going to deal lots of damage the longer I keep the combo up. So if I stay in the fight, I'm just going to deal crazy amounts of damage. Um, by the way, I'm playing on NA servers here right now because I felt like recording this and uh, EU servers were not really popping around this time because it was like 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> but uh, here we go, we got another kill on Sven which was pretty nice. And now you can see how much damage Gnosis can actually deal to the Bloomer, but I have to watch out a little bit because they're, the enemy Gnosis is trying to go for me. Together with my friend I managed to finish this off. Now I just take the time to attack this guy a little bit, but he's running away, so I just throw spears into his back. The spear only has one second cooldown, but doesn't really deal much damage. You can upgrade it into um, either just throwing like a more powerful spear with a longer cooldown, which like actually hurts, or you can upgrade it that you like throw down a rain of uh, spears on a ground target, and that's going to mobilize everybody. Um, so here we got the first push, the wound is down, we're only f two people in their base and I'm just like going for the wound right away, um, but they're defending with three people and I tried to dodge around too much because, I mean I'm Gnosis, I have no stamina, there was no way I would get out of this anyway. I'm activating the music here real quick. Um, so I should have just kept dealing a little bit more damage. Technically I could have gotten the wound because I had my focus on level 2 already, um, but I think focus is just Upgrading creatures is way too powerful right now. You can use your focus to just upgrade creatures, and um, that's what I'm gonna do here soon. I'm just like derping a little bit around, and, and I'm thinking, oh, maybe I'm gonna go for focus level three. But then I realized I don't have a creature in my roster that costs three focus, so I'm just gonna go and upgrade this guy here into a mountain cyclops. Mountain cyclops is just a lot more tougher. <laughs> I like how the little baby cyclops actually dies. You could see the little corpse there on the side. That was actually a little a little sad. Um, but either way, uh, the mountain cyclops is a lot more tanky. Um, but he actually doesn't really offer that much. I'm actually not a huge fan of it. I should probably change my roster. But it's just like the baby cyclops. Maybe I should go for the yeti. Um, that's a new creature that got implemented with a new patch. Uh, which costs 3 focus and it's just more powerful and I think it uses like a slow zone when enemies enter. I haven't really seen it in action yet. Drip is a little bit out of position here. I see her in stealth. Try to go with my Q for her but the little hand was in the way and then she just went somewhere to the right. And actually he's right here again but I got knocked away from Sven. So I can't really go for that kill. I mean I could have tried to but they 
they could have just kited around. That's the thing with the Gnosis, he relies a, a lot on his left clicks. And you can, if you're a good player, you just can kite it away from it very easily. And there are two people going to try and summon something here. And I just try to play too aggressively here and I almost die for it. But I fall back, use my Q to gain a little bit more distance. You can see Gnosis doesn't really want to leave me alone. I have my E back up again, it's gonna give me more movement speed and also more armor. And yeah, it's pretty pretty easy to get away. Gnosis is very, very tanky with this, and I'm just gonna go for an extra 200 shield on my E. I could have technically gone for the upgrade here, because I have one focus, but uh, eh, eh. Rather, I'm going in to try and finish off two, those two guys over there. It's a Sven and a Vadasi, they can heal each other. Very strong support heroes. And I got kinda knocked away there, and it looked a little weird, but I finished him off with my spear. Get the power orb. Enemies drop power orbs when they die now, which is interesting. Um, so that gives you a little bit of focus and just more power for your team. Use my focus here, which was a little bit of a waste, kinda. I mean, I only I hit the granny, but I kinda wanted to hit the, the other girl there as well. But I use my E again, I'm basically unkillable. He tries to cut away, but runs in circles, and I could hit him all the time anyway. <laughs> and then granny just decides to fight me after her, her uh, teammate died already. And now there's Sven, and I get really greedy here, and I think, I'm powerful, got double kill, keep going, and <laughs> I use my E, I actually never really play Gnosis, so I thought, mm, maybe, maybe with my um, little charge on my E, with my little shield that I get there, maybe I am tough enough to take this guy on, but it wasn't quite enough. So uh, this looks, by the way, as if it was a 4v5, but in reality it's a 5v5, at least. I mean, uh, maybe Trip is missing right now, but uh, Trip is going to be around later on in the game. It just doesn't really show in the scoreboard, it's a little bug. So, yeah, um, <laughs> Nossus is an interesting character. Here you can see they're <laughs> we're trying to summon a bloomer there and they're just attacking it, which is really bad. You want to protect your creatures. When you summon a creature, you want to stay close to it, and this way it just summons um, a lot faster. And it gets a lot of um, regeneration, so it gets actually pretty hard for the enemies to take it down. And I'm just trying to find the opportunity here to attack somewhere, and they're just <laughs> bunkered up with the with granny hands everywhere. And in this kind of opportunity, because it's a 4v5 right now in this very moment, uh, it's very hard to push through there with them fortified there and everything. So I just decide, okay, back to our Gnosis all the way. Let's go. And uh, you can see my damage is stacking up quite nicely and I take this thing down so quickly. And the amazing thing about Gnosis is, since he has that shield on his E, he can tank the bloomer damage and doesn't need to dodge around. If I would try this with Trip, I would have to like either da tank all the damage and drop really low HP, or... I would have to dodge all the attacks in between, and that's gonna make things a lot slower. So Gnosis is actually incredibly, incredibly good for backdooring, believe it or not. So here I have my focus now, and I go to upgrade the little bloomer. Upgrading creatures um, gives you twice the amount of power, and uh, just more powerful effects, basically. So the, the big bloomer... Um, just it's gonna heal so much more. It it's gonna be pretty much quite uh, the same toughness. Like it's not gonna be tankier. It's gonna die still very fast. I think it might have changed again. Things change constantly in this game. Um, but yeah, like the healing is worth it, and just the power generation. That's what wins games because you gain twice the amount of power. So um, here you can see our guardian is going for the wound. And he also gave a speed buff, so I don't need to use as much stamina. I'm trying to regenerate some of the stamina while I'm entering the enemy base. So I'm ready to just get out again. Um, since the enemy guardian has such little HP, um, it could have been an auto wound. I'm not sure if it was. I just wanted to make sure that we get the wound for sure. Because um, a guardian, when he pushes, deals an initial amount of damage. And um, depending on how much uh, shield the enemy guardian has, which is a blue power bar, um, it can just deal lots of damage. Like if, if they have very little shield, it's going to deal lots of damage. So here I just go for that creature again, and Trip thinks she can stop me because she has a bloomer and everything, and I just hit her a few times with my auto attacks, and then if she's like in melee range of me, and I use my um, focus ability, she can basically not get out of range. 
because it casts so fast you can't even dodge out of range. You have to like predict it. You have to see it coming. Um, so it was pretty much a secured kill because it interrupts her as well. It deals lots of damage, applies a dot, and it was just such a safe kill there for me. And so this is really interesting. I decided to upgrade our pools into a bloomer because we lost our intake. I think that's a really important thing. You need a bloomer somewhere on the map for healing. And um, our team decided to summon a Cyclops in the middle now instead, instead of a bloomer. Because usually people always go for bloomers. Oh, there's like a big fight happening here right now. And I saw Granny on 1 HP and I just spam my left click and I like just want to get that kill instead of trying to get away. And somehow I never got the kill, which was weird. But either way, um, summoning a bloomer at intake is really nice just to have the constant healing there while you're poking and fighting around middle so you can fall back and always heal back up again. But um, a Cyclops there puts a wall up, so it's way harder for the enemy team to push in. And since we have a healing pool uh, from pools, which is fairly close to intake as well, um, maybe you will see it later. Like, there's two healing pools over there, which is pretty good. And I think there's, like, right one when you get out of the caves towards intake. I think it might actually be worth it to put a Cyclops there with that setup. And I'm going for the Granny again. She uses her focus, which is basically a trap. It stuns me and then knocks me away and deals a lot of damage. Extremely powerful focus ability. Uh, she has no escape anymore. She just used her E, which makes her immune to damage basically for a while. And now I just go for the Vadasi, who tried to heal Granny but couldn't quite get it. She tries to kite around, dodges nicely to the side. I barely hit her with my right click to immobilize her and I can get the kill, even though I'm pretty low HP. Um, and then I go to this little healing pool where my team pushes in uh, while they're being outnumbered. Arimani is trying to defend our guardian, unfortunately she doesn't manage to do it. But since we got a few kills I thought, oh let's go and resummon real quickie, but actually Clash is already happening. Um, Clash is this climax to every game basically. Both guardians move the, to the middle of the map. That happens after a certain amount of pushes, by the way. and. Um, you gain twice the amount of uh, power for kills, you can't respawn creatures anymore, and yeah, the battlefield is just a lot smaller, and they also like destroy a bunch of cover. If you saw, you could have seen that earlier, there was like stuff falling to the ground, and like in the mid area the walls are gone, so you can just poke a lot more there. I, th I see an opportunity to go for Sven, but he uses a super jump to just chuke me away, and then I'm like right in front of the Guardian. But then here, Griselma is kind of out of position as well. I see a lot of enemies over there though. Tried to get out with my Q because I took a lot of damage. Um, Imani used a really, really nice uh, stealth on me there, so I could just get out. Um, Usually I would want to stick with my team, but since I'm Gnosis, I can't really do too much without going like all in. And being so low HP, I'm not going to be able to do too much. I almost have level 2 focus, I'm not even sure if I'm going to stack it up to level 2 before I use it. We'll see. So I'm going for Sven here, pretty free damage. I hit my Immobilize, he cleanses it though with his heal. He went for the cleanse, which is really good actually. Like that was fast reaction time there. And well done by him. He does a lot of damage and I just used my level 2 focus to finish him off, otherwise I would have probably died. And here I do something interesting. I have my shield up anyway and I just want to bait her in so my team can go for her and uh, you can see my trip is going for her. She is forced to use her focus ability and Vadasi's focus ability just makes her immune to damage for like three seconds or so depending on the level. And um, yeah. She died in the end, and she wasted her focus. So that was that was just the Betarino, uh, A plus. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. But uh, Trip is stealthing away here. Uh, we immobilize her and change the seat her quite nicely. But she got into stealth. We couldn't really find her to finish her off. There is this stupid knockback from Sven again. The little pool. If you run into it, you just get knocked away. They're upgrading this creature here right now, and I know that I have my E up in a second again. They use their focus on me, and I think, okay, fuck this. I'm just gonna go for this. I could, I could have ran, but I thought I could get the kill on Gnosis, and then maybe with my team get the uh, creature while it's upgrading because killing a creature while it's upgrading is the easiest thing in the world. And we were not on the same uh, page here, unfortunately, so I died alone in there. But my team um, managed to get a couple kills in the middle, which secured the push for us. And, um, well, they only have one wound left, so we just need to push in and get the kill there. But you can see the blue power bar of the Naga is really high, so could very well be that uh, we can't get this 
right away because if you have a lot of shield it's pretty hard to get Un unless we go in there with five people but since two of us are already respawning and we're like really pretty far behind uh, it's pretty tough to go for this. I try to immobilize the trip, follow it up with my Q, or at least I try to. <laughs> I miss it though. And I can see here, you can see those little um, effects where um, Taito did hit the, the trip and stuff. So I knew where trip was and I could just follow her, him and help him get the kill. And um, I tried to, that's so weird. I tried to hit my right click on Nosis there and it somehow doesn't hit, even though it looks like it should have hit. But, uh, well, as as I said before, I'm playing on an A service right now, so um, ping does affect this game. And I have like a ping of 150 or something on an A service. Oh, I barely saved the life of Jarnok there with my Q, which is like this little knock up. And now I try to go for the big damage. I get knocked away by this Sven again. He is on point with those knockbacks, by the way. Really well done. And here I see the opportunity. Three people on one point. Bam! I go in. Use my focus. Lots of damage. I try to finish off the Sven. I take a lot of damage from Nos in the back because Nos just deals lots of damage. I also get beamed by Vadasi. Um, if she wouldn't have beamed me there, I would have probably gotten away because I got the Immobilize on uh, Nosis and I had enough stamina to get away. Um, I like, could just barely sprint away and I was almost around the corner already. But um, either way, since I got such a big focus off there, my team had enough time to just clean up the entire team. And now they're just sitting in front of the wound. There's only one enemy alive, as you can see on the minimap. And uh, my team is just going to get the victory very easily. So yeah, uh, that was it. That was <laughs> that was my first play em all with Gnosis. Uh So I'm going to do this with every hero. Um, and... Let me know how, what you guys think and if you guys want to see something else, if you want me to speed up some parts of the replay because this is a 16, 17 mi wi minute video now because I'm still talking. Um, just let me know if you want me to do something about the speed things up. Maybe if I die, just like uh, cut out and like just cut in again when I have respawned already. Um, and I will do that in the future if you guys so desire. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it and I will return with the next video soon-ish. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys. Bye!